Hi everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to use the flash quiz template for making a race. Now with this template you can make a race where students will be able to choose an opponent and see if they can beat that opponent in what looks like a motorcycle race. It includes the ability to input multiple choice and single word answer questions. I'm going to show you now what it will look like when you're finished. Okay, the student will come in, type their name, and hit the button. Then they get to choose an opponent, and basically the opponents ra range from the fastest one up the, in the top left-hand corner down to the slowest one in the bottom right-hand corner. So they select an opponent. Uh, they can scroll through and choose another, and when they're happy, just hit the select button and they're welcomed by name. I hope you're ready to race, Dave, you can see there. And then they click the button and the race begins. All right, what's one plus one? Let's get it wrong, three. And you can see Purple Peter's moving along here, but we're not, uh, we're the one in the black, we're not moving anywhere. Uh, so we answer it incorrectly and it tells us we've made one attempt, none right, one wrong, 0%, we've got 20 remaining, and the time's ticking away there. So let's get one right, two, and you can see we've moved up closer to our challenger, two plus two is four. Okay, the next one asks you to input an answer, okay, and with this type of question you as the teacher tell the computer what the right answer is but there can only be one right answer so I've had to actually specify here only use lowercase so we're going to say three and I gave them a clue here and actually I might just get it wrong I'll put threes okay and then I'll get it right this time and we progress I might pause because you sort of get the idea now. I'll pause while I go through the rest of the questions and I'll resume now and just get the last one right so you can see what feedback we get at the end. Okay, so how you fared, you are told how many attempts you made, how many were right, wrong, your percent, your time. Your feedback is based on whether you beat the computer or not, on your percentage and who you are racing. So it might say if you beat one of the slower competitors, right, you might want to choose a faster competitor next time. If you got a hundred percent, it might say, right, this test is pretty easy. You might want to try a harder test next time. Let's see how we make this. When you get the template, and I'll show you where you download it. You download it from this site here. Okay, when you do download it, you open it in Flash and it'll look something like this. Okay, so when you're working in Flash, you've got this red scrub head. Okay, so we can move through all of our questions there. Okay, all right, and you can move if you move back to frame one, that's where you should start. Uh, you can insert your title by, you should actually, before you click a few times, move down to the title text uh, layer, okay, and then click a few times and insert your title. So we might say simple addition quiz. Okay, so easy enough. Once you've done that, you just move your cursor along to question one. Okay. Now, question one, as do all of the other questions, has an option. You can ask the student to input a text answer, or you can ask them to either select one of these four answers as being correct. We might say the first question is going to be a multiple choice question. Okay, so we'll say one plus one equals and a question mark. Now that's just a matter of typing things in and here we're going to type in four options. We're going to type in double click two, three, 
four, five. Okay, now let's go and choose our select button, our selection tool. All right, because we do not want to use this text box and we don't want this text box answer button, we're going to move those off our stage. So if we scroll up, we can just drag these off the stage because we don't need them. Now, what you'll see here is five buttons when in fact there's only four options. The reason for that is this top button, if you look over here in the properties window, this button's name is right. That means that a lot of the coding behind this button, which you don't need to know anything about, tells the computer that you picked the right option. So essentially what you need to do is you need to move this button into the place of the correct answer and move the button next to the correct answer off the stage because obviously 2 is the correct answer. Now the button next to 2 is called the A button and the A button is programmed to say to the computer hey that's wrong. Okay, You can see we've got A there, B, C, and D and all of those are programmed to tell the computer the answer was wrong. So basically for each question choose whatever answer is right, move that button off the stage okay, and then replace it with the right button. Now before we move it off the stage we'll have a look at where it is. The x-axis is 50. Okay, Now all of them are on an x-axis of 50. Okay, Their x-coordinate, I should say, is 50. That's why they're all in line with each other. Their y-coordinates are all different. The y-coordinate is how far it is from the top of the stage. Now, this is 160 from the top of the stage. So now we'll move that off the stage. And we want to click on this button, the right button. Remember, it's called right up here. And we want to tell the computer, hey, this should be at 160 pixels from the top of the stage. When we hit enter now, it's going to move into place. All right, if you didn't get that, I'm going to show you again. Now I'm going to move my red scrub head to the next frame. And we're ready to type in question two. So let's type it in. We'll type in two plus two equals... And before we do anything else, let's type in some options. Okay, we might say 3, 4, 5, and 6. Now, again, we're going to use our pointer tool, selection tool. We're going to move this off the stage. I'm going to move this button off the stage. Now, B is the correct answer. 2 plus 2 is 4. So let's click on that button, the B button, okay, and you can see the Y coordinate is 220. So now we're going to move that off the stage right up the top there, okay, and we're going to click on the right button, and we need to remember that 220, oops, 220 was where it belonged. Then we press enter, and voila, that's set up now to give us the feedback that that's right. Okay, so all you're doing is basically telling the computer which answer is right and that's it. Now, I've showed you how to do that for two questions. If you forget, just go back in the video and have a look again. This time, I'm going to show you how to input a question which requires a text answer. Okay, so I might type in a sentence. One plus something equals 5. So obviously the answer is 4. Okay. Now, we're going to go to our selection tool and this time we're going to m make a box around all of these buttons and move them off the stage. We're going to move them right up the top. Okay. Sometimes moving things to the side is no good because on a widescreen monitor you'll still see them. So, 1 plus something equals 5. The students have to type their answer in here, then hit this button. Now, again, we don't want 
any of these things we can move them off the stage we might keep this one and we might just type in clue unscramble I've just scrambled up the letters of four okay because students need to get this right in order to progress so how does the computer know that four is the right answer well the simple answer is in this top layer of down the bottom of your screen here there's uh, there's a, a layer called correct you probably can't see it all it's correct answers okay now you need to go to the keyframe under your red scrub head okay and click in there click in that keyframe okay and then you want to go to the actions frame see here it says actions frame click in that now if you don't see the word actions frame there okay you can simply hit the F9 key and it will appear and this is what you will see you will see correct answer equals and then probably in green it'll say insert answer here all you do is double click oh, click a couple times yep until that's selected and type in your answer now don't put a space after it just your answer no spaces okay and make sure that it's the if if you want capital letters put in capital letters if you want lowercase put in lowercase because that's the answer that it will accept and only that answer all right so now what I've done is I've taught you how to uh, make a multiple choice question I've taught you how to do a text answer question now that's basically all there is to it okay there's nothing else to this quiz except for publishing it okay obviously you save it like you save a normal file and you also need to publish it so to publish your file you go to file and in the file menu you'll see publish click on publish and when you've done that whatever folder you've saved it in now I saved it in a folder called test will contain three files the flash file the FLA is the one you've just been working in and the other two are the ones that you give to your students these both need to be put in the same folder in order to work and the one that the students will be best to open is this HTML file they just double click on that uh, they might get this yellow bar at the top of their screen that's normal just click there and say allow blocked content no viruses here you've made this yourself and click yes and there's your quiz ready to go students can type in their name okay choose any opponent they like this is all calibrated by the computer select it okay and away they go there's your questions if they type in the wrong answer that's what happens click on the right answer that's what happens okay and with this one that you put in the text okay and that's it uh, here you just see insert question here because we haven't typed in any more questions but type in the rest of the questions as as the first few and you're done great hope you enjoyed that and I hope your students do too thank you